a big test for Boeing as the company looks to venture into space. Tomorrow, NASA is launching Boeing's Starliner reusable spacecraft from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. And it will carry two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station for the very first time. And if everything goes well, NASA could certify Boeing's system for its commercial crew program. Joining me right now, uh, live from Houston, retired NASA astronaut and former commander of the International Space Station, Leroy Chow. Uh, great to see you, Leroy. So how big of a moment is this for Boeing? Oh, this is huge for Boeing. Uh, they've had a lot of bad uh, press over the last few years, including about the Starliner, but certainly in their airplane business. So they pretty much desperately need a win. And fortunately, I think uh, things are, you know, finally settled with the Starliner. And I know Sonny and Butch are, are eager to go. They've been watching and and, and uh, taking care of all the different processes that have been occurring to ensure a, a safe and successful mission tomorrow. So uh, I'm kind of fingers crossed that uh, everything's going to go very well tomorrow. Okay, that's right. Fingers crossed. So we've seen SpaceX and Russian Soyuz spacecraft, uh, you know, send astronauts to the International Space Station. What does the potential addition of Boeing mean for NASA? Well, several years ago when these contracts were first uh, let, uh, you know, that SpaceX had an interesting idea. They were making some progress. But NASA wanted to have at least two uh, companies in there making these uh, commercial vehicles. And so Boeing was selected because the idea is that Boeing knows how to do this. And even though they got almost twice as much development money as uh, SpaceX did, uh, of course, SpaceX came out and for the last three and a half years or so, have, SpaceX has been flying, uh, have been flying NASA astronauts to and from the ISS. So Boeing uh, hopefully will join that uh, effort tomorrow, mm -hmm. and uh, then we'll have two sources to get astronauts there in case one system has some kind of a problem and uh, can't yeah. fly for a while. Okay, and so NASA is calling this a, a flight test. Uh, what's the agency hoping to find out with this launch? Well, of course, they're going to exercise everything they can, all different phases of flight, all the systems on board the Starliner, make sure everything's going to work uh, the way it's expected. And so this will be a full test of all the different systems, uh, including the uh, the launch tomorrow and then the return, you know, the reentry, the heat shield, the parachutes, everything like that, mm -hmm. and all the stuff in between. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be watching very carefully. Okay. And then what are some of the variables NASA watches as it looks at, you know, an unmanned uh, mission versus a, a manned spacecraft mission? Sure. So the Starliner, of course, has flown unmanned and uh, on a few different uh, flight tests, it's had different issues. Uh, those issues have all been addressed. And so now NASA and Boeing are confident that tomorrow's mission is ready to go. And, uh, you know, so they'll be looking at, at everything that has gone wrong in the past, make sure that there's no sign of anything like that happening again, as well as all the other systems that they've monitored previously. So you can bet there's going to be uh, a lot of eyes on everything that happens. Mm. Okay, so we're about 29 hours from launch. Uh, what are these two astronauts, Butch Wilmore and, and Sonny Williams, doing right about now as they prepare for this flight? Well, they're generally kind of relaxing. They might be reading over their notes, uh, you know, but basically they're just, they're ready to go. You know, these are professionals. Uh, they're test pilots. They have a, a flight test background. And, uh, you know, they've been in, the, in NASA for a very long time, many years. I, I know both of them uh, pretty well. And so um, they're just kind of relaxing and, and, you know, waiting for the moment to uh, uh, when they have their brief, their suit up and, and get ready to go get the job done. All right. Are you envious? Do you wish you were there? Or are you like, eh, I've had enough under my belt. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've, I've uh, I had a wonderful 15 year flying career, got to do everything possible in a flying career, uh, you know, during the time I was there. I'd love a chance to go to the moon someday, but, uh, you know, unfortunately that wasn't in the cards for me. Uh, but no, I'm not really envious, but I'm very interested and I'm cheering for these guys and uh, and I, I think everything's going to go great. Well, we always love your expertise. Thank you so much. Leroy Chow. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you.